When it comes to the golf swing, and especially for the upper core player, I want the upper core player to understand the release. The release of the golf club is what happens basically from shaft parallel to the ground to through parallel to the ground. Really, we could almost say the release is what's going on from left arm parallel to the ground to left arm parallel to the ground. Some would call this the L to the L. What's going on here? And what you're seeing is the left arm, hand, and wrist creates a ton of speed in the golf swing. If we did not have the wrist joint, we would hit it nowhere. And the left arm and hand is rotating. The left wrist is going into extension. And when you look at this from this angle, you're also going to see there's some ulnar deviation as I stand up. That means this is ulnar deviation. And that's why this shaft is standing up more than I was at address. <clears throat> This is just a moment in time as we hit the golf ball, those arms and hands rotate, extend, and the hands and wrists recock back up. It's basically a free orbit of the club head if you just let the club swing you. And if you look at some of these videos here with in slow motion and just watch what the arms, hands, and wrists do coming through, that is the release. And what you will see is that impact right here that the club is not past the left arm. That is a supported strike. The weight is in the left foot. The left arm is in front of the shaft of the golf club. That's a supported strike. If you look at it here, you're going to see the same thing. You can see the ball here now. There's a supported strike. There's impact the club is not past my left arm. But what happens next, the arms and hands rotate and the club recocks on the other side as we go through to our finish. So, so many people are having trouble understanding what we do with our arms, hands, and wrists. I work on this all the time with my students. See, here I am coming in. You can see there, here I am delivering the club to the back of the ball, the weights in the left foot, the left arms in the correct place as I deliver the blow. Now the arms rotate, left wrist in extension, and then we recock the hands and wrist up on the other side. So if you are struggling with learning how to release the club, feel that rotation in the arms and hands and that recock on the other side and get your release going because if you want to have speed in your swing, you got to learn how to use your arms, hands, and wrist. And the upper core player releases a little earlier than most, but we still want to support a supported strike with our weight in our front foot. Thanks.